first, like you said, you don't want to get brainwashed and watching different stuff. You go to church. You go to church and stuff on Sunday. Y'all going tomorrow? Are y'all do that? Right. Yes. Go to most of us was brought up. Like, right, right, most right, of us right. was. Now some of us wasn't. Right. Most of us was, and all of it is lies. Right. All of it is lies. Because have they told you anything about what's going on right now to help you and your son? Read no. It. Nothing. They've literally just destroyed the whole community. Read that. First John chapter four verse one. This Read is how you're gonna know who's teaching the truth. Read. Beloved, believe not every spirit. The brother brought this out earlier. The officer did. Said, believe not every spirit. Don't believe everybody. That's what. That's the Bible. Don't right. believe everybody. Don't believe your Creflo dollars in them. Right. Why they not out on the street? When right. the Bible says your pastors, the real true teachers of God, will be right here looking at you teaching the Bible. Right. But then we want to go sit in the church, got there in Creflo setting up cash apps and stuff for this congregation to pay tithes anyway, right. even though they ain't going to the congregation. Right. But, he, but everybody look at him like he the man of God. He's right. not the man of God. Read. Believe not every spirit, uh -huh. but try the spirit. Try the spirit according to God's laws. You've learned a few over the day. Keep the seventh day. Don't shave your beard off. We are also supposed to wear fringes on your clothes. Keep the Sabbath day, not Sunday. Right. Sabbath day. Brother across the street, come talk to us, man. Come on over here, bro. Bro with the hat on with the white tee. Come on over and holler at me. See what I'm saying? Try the spirit according to the Bible. Are they doing what God said? Can they tell me what the Bible says about this situation? That situation. And prove it. That's right. what you must try. Read on. But try the spirits, whether they are of God. Whether they are of God. Read on. Because many false prophets. There are many false prophets. Like you say, you don't want to have you and your son all over the place reading the Bible. He asked a good question. Who's teaching the truth? And we're explaining it to him. You don't want to have every your son looking at everybody. You don't need to be looking at everybody. Hey. Because everybody ain't showing you the truth. They right. said there's many false prophets. Many. That means there's a whole lot of them. Right. Not just just Creflo. You got them right here in Columbia. Right. All these churches on Sunday, all of them are the many false prophets. Right. Period. Right. Your gang leaders, they are false prophets. Right. Period. Because what are they teaching our young sons? Oh, you can get rich, you can do this, it's okay. You're lying. Right. right. Lying. They are also representing them same false prophets pushing the same lies the so-called white man gave them. Right. Right. Same right. chunk. Read. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. Uh-huh. They are going out into the world because they're all over the place. Read on. Hereby, hereby, know ye the Spirit of God. You must know the Spirit of God. What is the Spirit of God? Give me that. John 6, 63. Bring it up. It was it on that script. Read the rest of that and then give me John 6, 63. Hereby, know ye the Spirit of God. Uh-huh. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. Because a lot of people, we are the only people that stand out here and teach and right. prove in the Bible what Christ really looked like. Right. This ain't Christ. Right. In your church, you got this in there, don't you? Why in the world would you go there then? Bring it out. See what I'm saying? All this stuff that we playing games with, thinking we got all day with. No, you don't. You don't. Literally, they have got a curfew on this city. Right. 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 So you and your son can't go outside at 11 without getting questioned by the police if they roll up on you. Right. It ain't normal now. You got to be stuck in the house with your kid. When ain't nothing wrong with you taking the trip to the store at 11, but the stores ain't even open no more. Not you know. even Walmart. You know. You know. But our people want to sit up here and think that they following this dude. 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 This is the same dude that got you stuck in the house. Bring right. Out. Same dude put you in slavery. Right. Same out. dude that got all these false prophets out here lying to you and lying to all our people. Read on. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh uh -huh. is of God. We are of God. Right. Does Christ look like you. He did not walk the earth all colors like some man sitting up here. He didn't even want to admit the fact that God, that Christ was on the earth and he got hung on the cross and he looked like us. That's right. He's sitting there talking about, no, he's a spirit. You literally had a brother had to explain it and tell him. So they just put a, a darn stake through the chest, through his heart, and then threw a spirit that nobody saw. Bring it out. Bring it out. Are you Bring for real? Bring it out. Is he for real? But that's what our people have been taught on Sunday church. Right. Christ was just a spirit. So you mean tell me nobody saw him? We ain't got long to keep hearing this. Read on. And every spirit that confesses not. So you got the pastors on Sunday. They don't got the right image of Christ in there, nor are they teaching you keep, to keep God's law. Right. Which is the way of Christ and God. Read. That 
Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. They say he was just a spirit. Nobody ever seen him. Don't they say that? Yes. But yet still he was hung on the cross. So you mean tell me you hung nothing on the cross? Read. Get out. Read. It's not of God. That person or that pastor that is teaching you those lies is not of God. Yes. That's right. That's how you know who's teaching the truth right there. The people that are telling you to keep the laws and will tell you exactly what Christ looked like and prove it. Those that actually teach what Christ truly looked like in the laws, we actually have the Spirit of God. Read. John chapter 6 verse 63. Read it out. It is the Spirit that quickened it. The Spirit of God is what changes you. Quickened means change. Repent. Repent. Meaning not do the same thing and keep doing it. Right. Just say I'm sorry and go right back to doing it. Right. Didn't change nothing. Repent or change means I'm sorry and you stop. That's right. But I want people want to go do the same crap every day. Right. Same thing like this little store down here selling our people drugs, pushing it. Right. Our right. people working for another nation pushing they drugs. Right. Right. Because we ain't getting nothing shipped over here. That's right. right. They make all the money off of it, but then we'll sit up there and sell it for them, make them more money while we getting coins and ducats. Right. right. Nothing. You are barely making it. Barely making it, even if you're a drug dealer. Like right. the officer told me over here, I told him I was going to tell y'all. Brother, tell him this morning. I'm going to tell him this morning. All the jobs and all the stuff getting shut down, but the only people that get real jobs is drug dealers. Are you for real? Bring it out. Are you for real? A brother, a brother said that. What common sense is that? Bring it out. No common sense whatsoever to say the only people that got jobs now is a drug dealer. Bring it out. Huh? It ain't a job. You're killing your own people and call it a job that you kill your own people. That's right. That's what we that's what we dealing with in our communities because we have no understanding of the Bible. Right. We don't have the spirit of God. And we're gonna touch on how off on how fast this stuff about to go away where ain't nobody gonna be able to repent. Right. That's right. That's right. Listen to this. Listen to this right here. What's your name, bro? James. James? All praises. Read that. It is the spirit that quickens. The spirit of God is what changes you. Read on. The flesh profited nothing. Because this flesh is going to be gone one day. Read on. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. The words in the Bible. If you ain't got no pastor, if he's sitting up there and read one script to you and give you a two-hour speech, he's not teaching you what God said. That's right. You've been sitting up here. Just, I've been only up here for five, ten minutes. And we done read more than one, two scripts. Right. But you get a pastor that'll read one or two scripts and go off for an hour, and people say he taught a good sermon. Bring it out. Oh, he did yeah. good. Oh, the music was banging. What he talk about? I don't know. Gee. <laughs> but then, but 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 he's the prophet of God. For real? That's yeah. what we're dealing with here. Bring it out. That's what we're dealing with here. You are looking at your pastors, bro. That's You're looking right. at the people that you need to be around to teach your son. Right. right. That's what needs to happen. Give me Hebrews 10. Bring it out. Bring 10. It out. 10. 25. I think it's what I want. Yep. Let me get that. Let me get Hebrews 10 because you must come around because you ain't going to always be able to come around. And we're going to get there right after this because I got to get it off my chest. Read. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Bring it out. Not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together. You cannot forsake the assembly. That's what you're looking at. We are an assembly together. When we leave here, we're going to go an assembly. We're going to be assembled to the rest of our family, right. wives and children. You got a son, your son needs to be there with the rest of our sons right. and daughters. Right. Knowing how to live a righteous life because this right here ain't going to last long. That's right. And that's what we got to do as men. We can't be walking around saying, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And don't do it. Bring it out. Or die. Right. Period. But we like to play that game with God. Read. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves so together. Put off that assembly. You need to come today. Read on. As the manner of some is. Uh huh. Because that's what people do. They said, as the manner of some is, they'll put off that assembly. Don't think twice about it. Think it's a game that we come out here and teach every week. And then we'll go and invite you. Invite you around our families. Right. You don't know me. I don't know you. Neither one of y'all know me, but we've invited. If you've ever talked to us, you've been invited to the school. That's Just right. Just like you were invited today. Right. Read. But exhorting one another. Because what we must do is exhort y'all, and y'all must push us too. This right here ain't no one man show. Right. I must have somebody to exhort, and that person must also exhort me. So you can't just be home by yourself. You got people want to stay home. Oh, because of the damn coronavirus. Right. Talking about I want to stay home. You got Christian pastors on Sunday. 
telling a congregation, stay home, but still pay your tithes. Bring it out. <laughs> but the Bible just said, don't forsake the gathering. Yeah, we can only do what, 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 50? 50 right now? Sure, well, we gonna make sure we got 50. That's we gonna right. divide the class up. So that way everybody have a chance to get there and actually do what God said. That's right. See what I'm saying? That's what men of God will do. Right. right. They will make a way for the people of God to keep the laws. Right. The people of Satan will not do so, but they will still want your money for all the filthy lucre that they want. Yeah, right. they, they bills paid while you about to get evicted. Right. Because Please. you can't go to work and pay no bills, but you gonna give your check to him? Right. right. You, know. you gonna give your check to him? Yeah. Is that it? Read on. But exhorting one another, and so must the more as he see the day approaching. Because the day of the Lord is approaching. This place is about to burn. That's all y'all learned that up here, right? Y'all have been hearing that since we've been up here. But what's gonna happen before? What's gonna happen before all that happens? Is that it on that? Read on. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth. So y'all have received that truth today. Y'all have received enough to where you know I need to get to the school. Bob, but you don't wanna do that? Huh? <laughs> What's that judgment? You will burn. That's right. That, that's what's going to happen, bro. That's what God said. We didn't write the book. We study the book, apply it, and live it, and now we teach it to our brothers and sisters so that they may repent just like we are doing. Right. Read on. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. So if you actually turn your ears away from this and say, I'm not going to do it, and you've learned this now, and you willfully do so, there is no more sacrifice for you. Christ Jeez. did not die for your sins, is what that's saying. Right. Your sins, you will answer for them all. Right. Y'all understand that? Do y'all understand that? So now, let, let me get Amos. Bring right. it up. Amos 8 and 11. Because like I said, we ain't going to be out here always, right? It's a whole lot of stuff going on. You got the coronavirus. You got tissue paper running off. All kinds of stuff. Because people are literally, literally, like the dude said, only the drug dealers, right? Got jobs, right? Why do people sell drugs? For money, power, and respect, right? When your money means nothing, now what? Because even though you're a drug dealer with all this money, can you go to the store and buy more than one pack of, uh, of uh, a damn tissue? Bring it out! Just like the poor man up the street that ain't got your money? No. Both of y'all go in the store and you walk out and you can't buy with all your money all you want. Bring it you out. can only buy what they tell you you can buy. Right. So that means your money means nothing. So you, you claim you don't want with a job, but you still can't buy what the next man can't buy. Bring it out. So now your money meaning is out the door. It's gone. It's out the door. So there is no you selling drugs, now I got money. Your money don't matter. Right. The so-called white man has made it that it don't matter. Right. right. What kind of power you got? Remember money, power, respect? What kind of power you got? Stores shut down now. Walmart closes. You have no power to what to tell that store to stay open so you can shop. You don't have no power to tell that bank to stay open longer for you. Nothing. Where is your powers? Trump already shut it down. Where is your power to tell him to not shut it down? No. You got Amos? Let's read that. Amos ain't the left. Amos chapter 8 verse 11. Read it out. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God. What day? Read on. That I will send a famine in the land. So, so ain't that famine going on right now? Ain't it food missing? People can't buy food off the shelf? Right, right. You can't get tissue? There's a famine going on. There's a lack of supplies right now. Bring it out. Can't get shipped in. All the, all the seafood places are not receiving fish. Right. Talked to a dude last week. Dude actually supplies fish for like over 30 CEOs. None of them bought nothing from him. Bring it out. He had loads, loads of seafood. Couldn't sell one. Bring it out. One fish. He's just giving it away on the coast now. Right. Yeah, right. That, that's, that's what brother. That's what a brother is telling me. Cause he's a, a master chef, and the person that he's getting his supplies from can't sell nothing. Right. So there's a famine going on, but let's see what famine God talking about. Read. Not a famine of bread. Not a famine of food. So God is, he's going to send a famine on the land. He said, not of food, not of bread. Jeez. Read. Nor a thirst for water. Nor of water. He ain't talking about food and water that you drink. He said, there's going to be another famine on the land that he's sending. Read on. But of hearing the words of the Lord. We ain't always going to be out here to tell you what you must do. That's right. right. That's what God said. You will be looking for us and you won't find us. Right. right. That's what God said. You will not hear it again. You will literally walk away 
and say, I will get back to them brothers next week. You'll throw the darn, you'll throw the darn flyer in the trash. Now you don't remember our name. You don't remember our phone number, our website, nor where we located. And right. if we ain't here for you to come back and find us, how you gonna find us? Bring it out! God, read that part again. But of hearing of the words of the Lord. That is the famine. You won't hear the word of God no more, meaning you cannot repent. Right. God is going to make it that you die because you're hearing it today and you literally walk away and say, I'll do it next week. Bring it out. The Bible said, make haste to repent. That's Not right. waiting. You want to wait? You ain't got time to wait. You right. already can't go to the store at late. You already got a curfew on this city. Right. We already can only have 50 people at one spot. But for long, it's going to be 10. Then Bring you won't even see 10 of us out here. Right. Then it's going to turn to two. Then you only going to see two out here. Then it's going to turn to none. Bring it out. How you going to find the word of God then? Because the pastor not teaching it. You heard my man's right here. He's trying to teach his son. And a pastor can't teach him nor his son. So how is he going to teach him then to keep God's laws? Bring it out. Don't come in soon. If he don't make haste and do it now, he's jeopardizing himself and his family. Bring it out. Read on. And they shall wonder from sea to sea. Meaning y'all, the people of the world are going to be running all over the place to try to find us. Try to find the true worshipers of God. They can really give them the understanding. That's what the Bible says. So it ain't going to be y'all going to be chilling in the crib. Oh man, I'm just going to smoke this weed <laughs> and sin. I must keep doing this and I'll repent last minute. No, no, no. That means stuff going to get so bad, you're going to get so scared that now you're going to be looking for God. Right. And God said you're going to be running all over the place to try to find him. Read on. And there's a wonder from sea to sea. Uh -huh. And from the north, even to the east. You're going to go everywhere. You'll mess around and leave Columbia and try to go to Charlotte and find us. Right. No. Because we got a school in Charlotte. Before long, they won't be out there neither. They can only have, I think, like 10 in the same spot. Read it out. They might mess around and get to zero before we do. Right. Read. They shall run to and fro. They got y'all, the people of, of the earth are going to be running all over the place looking for us, looking for the people, the men of God, to show them what they got to do. And you right. won't find us. Read on. To seek the word of the Lord. They're going to be seeking what? To seek the word of the Lord. That's what y'all getting right now. Yes, right. Lord. That's what you're getting right now. But if you sit up there and play with God, you'll mess around and be the people that we're reading about. That's right. You'll be looking for us and won't find us. Read. Yo. And shall not find it. And shall what? Shall not find it. That's what God said. So if God said it, is it going to happen? Y'all believe in the Bible? Everybody here believe in the Bible? Read that part again, what God said. They shall what? They shall run to and fro uh -huh. to seek the word of the Lord uh -huh. and shall not find it. God said that. That's in the Bible. What pastor told you that? Bring it out. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.